as a theoretical physics, uh, I like general things. So this uh, gave me the opportunity to actually uh, measure myself and what I know with the fields that are usually not really included in the normal theoretical physics curriculum. I was uh, immersed in a very intellectually alive environment in which you could talk uh, in the same room with someone that does artificial intelligence and a biologist and ideas just you know, fly around and they get together and they flourish. The first project was how to apply all this machinery, mathematical machinery of relativity, uh, to um, material science and to uh, construct new materials with very special properties. Metamaterials in general are very important for the space environment because they allow to solve technical problems that so far has been, have been uh, uh, problematic, like shielding the payloads, for example, or also doing uh, analysis of the internal structure of materials by uh, sound waves, so a bit like an echography. Then, together with another research fellow here, uh, we solved for the first time uh, a problem in relativistic gravitation, which is the 1pn uh, encoding, <laughs> let's say 1pn uh, uh, post-Newtonian uh, uh, theory of gravitation. And this was never solved exactly before. Exactly means that you find uh, a solution that can be written in terms of a function, and you don't have to actually uh, use numerical methods to, to do it. Essentially, uh, these corrections are a very small correction with respect to other problems that you have when you have to keep a satellite in orbit. But uh, if you know about that and you can use this function that we found to actually describe this orbit, then you, you are in a position in which you can measure and estimate these other effects, like for example, I don't know, the fact that the Earth is not particularly spherical. And this means that um, you have a better control on orbital mechanics and a better control on attitude of these, uh, of these satellites. And also I participated in another project on artificial intelligence, always applying my background to these different uh, kind of fields. And the nice thing was that uh, when you try to do this, it's very complicated, but in the end you get very nice results because you, are, you manage to do things that maybe are impossible if you don't get out of the research field and you look at it from another perspective. At the moment uh, I'm uh, uh, working in Lisbon I got uh, the equivalent of a position of an associate professorship, which is called FCT Investigator. And in there, I'm working on a project that is uh, in pure gravitation, but has got relation with what I've been doing in the ICT.